Hi guys, it's Lexi. As you can see, I am camping right now. I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks for camping with a chronic illness and disability. My first tip is about booking a campsite. First, I would recommend to book one near your home if you're just starting out with camping. This way, if you forget anything or you left behind a medication or you just need to go home, at least you're close, not, you know, six hours away. I would also recommend booking an electrical campsite. Having an electrical campsite means that I would be able to plug in a fan during the day or I have asthma so I could plug in my nebulizer. My next tip would be to examine your accessibility needs. You may want to find a campsite that has a roll-in shower or paved trails or roll-in campsites or a picnic table that has a spot for a wheelchair. It really depends on what your specific accessibility needs are. One of my all-time favorite accessibility features of Oxbow Campground is something called a track chair. This is an all-terrain wheelchair that you're able to take over uneven terrain and trails. This next section will be about taking care of yourself. Very, very important if you're going to be camping. Make sure you bring all of your medications, maybe even make a packing list so that you don't forget anything. Making sure that you bring all medical supplies as well as specialty diet foods if applicable. My next tip would be to bring a small medical bag. Having a small, tiny little backpack full of the essential medical equipment, you'll at least have it if you were to need it. My third tip for this section would be having an emergency plan. We hope an emergency doesn't happen, but sometimes they do, and being prepared is key. I recommend looking up hospitals in the area so that if something were to go wrong, at least you have an idea of where you would go or how far the hospital is. If you struggle with dehydration, and of course being out in the heat is a huge component of dehydration, Bring electrolyte packets. Personally, I love Element, Vitassium, Liquid IV. These are really easy. Just pour them in your water, shake it up, and you're good to go. This will help replenish those fluids and keep you from becoming dehydrated, which can exacerbate your symptoms. While you're camping, especially if you're in a group, you may feel obligated to go along with all the group's activities. You don't have to. And that's kind of an internal battle that I still struggle with is learning when to say no. Your body is your only home that you'll ever have. You need to make sure that you're taking care of it. My next tip would be to stay inside of your energy limits. This goes along with learning when to say no. So if you're in a group and say they all want to go hiking but you're starting to feel fatigued and your body's starting to hurt, say no, I don't have the energy for that, maybe next time. And even if you don't go next time, that's okay too. <laughs> Bring a buddy who can help you with physical tasks like carrying supplies, setting up a tent, starting a fire, or even driving can be very helpful. My last tip for managing fatigue is if you're a female, go camping during your ovulation. During ovulation, your estrogen is at its highest point within the 28 day cycle. Estrogen will help you have those high energy levels and you won't get tired as quickly. A common theme with chronic illness or disability is having to ration our energy. So I would recommend limiting activity for about a week prior to going camping. This will help you to have higher energy levels and more energy to give while you're camping. I also recommend bringing along activities that you can do despite your limitations. For me, this is bird watching. I use a pair of binoculars and it's really cool to see all the different types of birds here. My favorite would be chickadees, cardinals, blue jays, robins, just all of the birds. I also brought this book with me. It is a young adult novel. I absolutely love reading it. Not very often do you see someone with a wheelchair on the front cover. I also brought along my journal. I use it for gratitude journals or just writing down anything that's stuck in my head at the end of the day. I also brought watercolor painting. One thing I'd recommend if you're doing it while camping is sit in front of a really awesome nature landscape and just try to paint that. I also brought Monopoly, the special 
addition of the national parks. It's really nice to play by the fire at night after a really long day. I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know down below if you have any other tips to add. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!